Hello everybody. Well, it's time to get back on the draw knife and make some handles. Here's the first one I made. As you can see, I use cedar wood. And remember this draw knife is my papaws and this cedar wood here come from my dad, which is my papaw's son. And so I got one in the clamps here I got one in the clamps, and now I'm going to show you the hard part, which is to make one that matches it. <laughs> yeah, the first one's always the easy one. Now, you remember I had to build a stand for my wood lathe, and I made it about six inches too tall. I didn't want to have to bend over and all that. Well, I sure ain't going to have to bend over because <laughs> it's right in my face, which ain't no good. So, I know I need to make a shorter stand for it. Okay. Okay, I gotta get a measurement off the back of that other one. Power packs makes doing the wash easier with convenient single dose packs, and it gives you a savings of up to 50% versus deleting. Okay, so back here at the back needs to be that big. We'll get back to it in the morning. Hello again, everybody. Here's the handles as they sit so far. And I have marked where I need to drill. 
So let's get to it. Waller it out a little bit on the top. Okay, I did play around at the drill press for a while and come back and try it and get it going. I don't want you to think it's just over and straight back. But as you can see, it goes all the way up on there now. Just like that. And the inside of this is going to be totally filled with epoxy. So I'm not worried about it being loose because I'm going to fill it with epoxy. Okay, so I'm going to get on the other handle. Okay, I got the handles made. Oh. Now I just got to glue them on. And I had a little bit of a problem with this one. As I was drilling out this hole the drill bit came through the side of it and I don't know how I didn't notice it because I was holding it in my hand <laughs> but it, it did just got another lucky time another lucky one I guess so uh, I was gonna do epoxy and all that but I believe I'm just gonna go with Gorilla Glue because there's these are not gonna have any problems staying on there as rough as that is and I need it to fill the holes, fill the voids and stuff. So I'm just going to Gorilla Glue it up. Let me get her back in the vise here. Let me bring these over here where you can see what's going on. Okay, we're just going to fill with the good old Gorilla Glue. If it'll come out. Oh, I can't have that. I ain't got time to wait on that. Oh. Well, no wonder it wouldn't come out. <laughs> How about that crap? <laughs> back on try it again what a man Okay, there we go now, and we'll pick her back up tomorrow.